Yes, you, you're not afraid, like because you had zero knowledge, you're not afraid yes. of anything. I wanted to say, but I thought maybe <laughs> you ask. Yeah, yeah. That's why they said I was extremely afraid. Wow. Hey, hmm. welcome back to another video. Today I'm with the YouTube Sugar Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Sugar the Daddy with no cash. <laughs> 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 so welcome to back to another video on Before I Got Married. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, guys. These two words, I hate them with passion. <laughs> I don't even know why. Hi, guys. Anyway, I'm Niyamo and I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm sugar daddy. <laughs> I have YouTube channels, couple channel, personal channel, charity channel, gang channel, and channel a couple of things. I can't say, or if I say, or you tell me I'm jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> I'm jack of all trades, master of all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put, I'll put all his channel handles in the description. Do well to go get it and watch the videos. You would enjoy it. And tell other people about his videos and channel. Amen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you hate the hate Hi. Guys? Okay, Hi so guys. so um, if you study my channel, if you watch the trend on my channel, I don't do what people are doing. Yeah. I always want to be unique or start something. So I find it to be tiring or to be lazy. Guys, don't come at me. Okay. It's just my words. If you don't agree with me, like, you understand? Okay. But I find it to be lazy if you just come and say, that, hi, guys. And if everybody, hi, guys. Everybody, hi. No, like, change it. Do something unique. Someone started the hi, guys. Yeah. Please, let's I'm move away from that. I just come and sit and I do all my days, my people. And people are repeating what I'm saying. Like when they see me, they call me all my days, my people. That's creativity. Like yeah. be creative. Okay. That's why I don't like the high guys. I'll catch one. I'll stop saying hi. <laughs> anyway, all my people, all my days. He no. Said <laughs> no. You, can, you can create yours. I'll come up with Specifically, hi guys. Yeah. That's what I don't I'll like. Come up with <laughs> anyway, so back to what we are here today for. Mm. Uh, before you got married, I'd want to ask, how long have you been married for? Okay, so... And you might have to tell us a little bit about your wife. Like, my how, wife. How awesome <laughs> she is. My hey. body body. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've been married for almost three years. Okay. Next month will be three years. And my wife is one cute, petite, humble, but not that cool -o. she's not that quiet like she's hot fire <laughs> but she's one like lovely woman god fearing she doesn't really care about material stuff yeah and she understands what i do she doesn't give me pressure i just like love her like that she's the perfect person for me <laughs> perfect person mm. okay now before you go married um, what did you know about marriage Ah. Like literally, where did you learn it from? from? Who taught you about marriage? Was? Okay, I knew nothing about marriage. Mm. Zero knowledge about marriage because I grew up alone. Okay. Not with my mom, not with my dad. Mm. But I grew up in a family house. That's my dad's, my grandfather's house. Okay. So like the dad side. But I really didn't grow up with my dad because he was almost always not there. He was wow. doing his things. And I also didn't want to stay with my mom because my mom was with my little sister. I felt like it's too much like yeah. her. So I just decided to be on my own. So I didn't really experience the marriage thing, like being with the father and the mother together, watching them. I didn't really experience it. So I had wow. zero knowledge about wow. marriage. Yes, you, I was, you're not afraid, like because you had zero knowledge, you're not afraid yes. of anything. I wanted to say, but I thought maybe <laughs> you ask. Yeah, yeah. That's why they said I was extremely afraid. Wow. Yeah. Tell about, us about marriage. Tell us about the, the struggles and the beautiful things that. Okay. That, that was with you. Okay, so let me go with the scary bit. So I was afraid of marriage because of one thing. I hate anhotre. I hate hunger. A come. Yeah. I don't like, like it at all. Suffering. I don't like it at all. So, whenever I think about marriage, 
this is how I say it. Okay, so I'm going to be with one person, which is so cool, but I need to take care of this person. Okay. This person must not go hungry. Mm. If I am hungry right now, I don't care. Yeah. I can just pick up a phone. Well, it's just Charlie, you. <laughs> Black, what's up? At the home go. <laughs> yeah, something will happen. Yeah. But right now, I'm with someone's daughter. I need to take care of someone's daughter. If there's no money and we are hungry, I have to make sure there is food. And I don't want anyone's daughter to go through that struggle, that pain with me. So I was always scared. Will I be able to keep up? Will I be able to keep up? Will I be able to? Because I'm, I was doing nine to five. And the nine to five is not for my father. It's not for my family member. I can be sacked. The job can close. Like the way COVID came and people lost their yeah, jobs. Yeah. Anything can happen in life. So I was really scared of hardship. Wow. In case it should happen, wow. what will I do? I'm not alone. I think this, this like what you just said, there's a lot. Like mm. there's a lot of lessons in it. <laughs> if you pay attention, you really get to yeah. hear a lot. And I think you should. Mm, but but one thing, one thing to like, thinking about all of these things, like it will really scare you. But all I will say is, see you don't know tomorrow and you don't own tomorrow yeah just have a plan for life yeah pray yeah. don't just pray and walk into it too because you have some 2000 so i've prayed i have 2000 charlie baby so let's settle no 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 you go die like hunger <laughs> will kill you like plan maybe you know you have this amount you can rent one maybe chamber a horse whatever you can survive maybe after the wedding for like a whole year without even working mm. see plan all of these things and set them down and you'll be able to go through it trust me yeah because when you get married god will also open some doors for you yeah. Yeah. i know a lot of you don't believe in this but see in this world whatever we say with our mouth it happens yeah. i'll show you a screenshot I don't know, I'll send it to you, so it's on the screen right now, guys. And this, this was 2019. I was telling Cyber Reviews, like, I did a screenshot of Magraheb liking my comment on YouTube. Okay. And I wrote, I told Cyber, small, small, he will get the message. And today, Magraheb is in my studio. Yeah, I saw, I saw that video. You yes. should go to his channel, Niyemo, and, and you see that video. So, these are things I said with my mouth. Mm. And finally, Maga is in my studio. I didn't go and pay anything. Mm. I didn't go and beg him, whatever. I just said it into the air. Um, small, small, he will get a message and he is here. So please, whatever you say with your mouth, it might happen. So yeah. say good things and like I said, plan and yeah. pray. <laughs> yeah, so it's like the cue I'm getting from this is that if you're going to get married and you're even afraid, don't speak. Uh, bad, bad things, like yes. speak good things because like you said you don't know tomorrow you don't own it you yes. don't know what happened you don't know you don't own it and all that yes wow that, that's a lot of thoughts that's a lot of thoughts okay now about your wedding processes just like some few things that we can learn from it mm. like the struggles around yeah. it okay and all of that there are like some few things we can okay so <laughs> my mom yeah yeah i think it's my mom yeah my mom gave me this advice she was like it is your marriage but it's their wedding it is your marriage yes but <laughs> it is their wedding if you are a lady watching i mean you it is your wedding if you're a guy watching it is the lady's wedding you just have to let, allow them to do whatever they want to do it is just one day if you are lucky enough you will get a lady who will say okay oh let's just do something small me i don't want but if you're not like you get a lady who say I want to buy the most expensive gown in my dream town, wedding. What's my dream <laughs> wedding? You just have to try and be able to afford it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but try and be able to afford it. It is just one day. Now, if you do that, it will really bring peace a lot. If you try to argue with them before they were like all of these things, okay, let me gown is even too much. Yeah. Let's say um, the engagement, they want to cook small rice and share you are like it's just an engagement why do you want to cook yeah. no you don't need to argue over those things like these are things i experienced okay okay that was mr logic i'm still mr logic but it was think critically about yeah it was it was bad 
I don't understand why you have to do this. No, there's no sense in it. And it was bringing problems. See, it got to a time we were screaming on top of our voices. And I think we shared it on our couple chat on myself and AJ some time ago. It was about counseling. Okay. AJ was like, we have to go to counseling. And me too, I'm like, I don't know why I should go to counseling. Whatever they're going to tell me, I think I know. I don't know everything, but the things they're going to tell me, they are obvious things. I don't need to go. Just that, eh? Just that. AJ ended up saying, I, I, I'll not even marry again. Like, mm -hmm. just a small thing, oh. So these are some of the things. Like, the guys, you should relax. Don't mm -hmm. argue. Um, I know they are going to say ridiculous things. See, I still have my wedding invitation cards plenty. plenty. Is there right now? <clears throat> Why? Because Madame says we should do plenty. Yeah. So so and so come. So so and so come. Some do not even come. They will mention lawyer. So so and so. <laughs> Nobody will wake up. <laughs> right. so, so those are some. Like I think you know, I actually told Franka that mm -hmm. the invitation, invitation card are waiting for hours. I told her that. Maybe you will be surprised that all the people I'm invited, like deliberately, like nobody will show up. And truly, I can call the number of people that I'm invited who showed up. See, that's how it is. So, I think the, the only advice here is before your wedding, until you do the wedding, agree to whatever they say. If you think you can't afford something, like your woman will know, yeah. and she won't like worry you with that. Yeah. But just agree to whatever they say. Baby, I want us to put the chair here. Okay, just do what will make you happy. I want us to sit here so we can face the crowd. Baby, just do what will make you happy. That's that. And don't go and be arguing over jollof rice and what, what, whatever. Yeah. So that's the advice I can give. Just agree to whatever they say. As long as you can afford. Don't go and borrow money for wedding. No. It's not good. And that borrowing thing, I mean, I, I didn't thought about it, but we'll, we'll talk about it later. It's not good, <laughs> borrowing money for wedding. I'm telling you. See, telling you. after the wedding, eh, you've rented decor, 13,000 Ghana, 15,000 Ghana. Some few five hours later, you see them packing the things like this. You know, I heard of this story. <laughs> I didn't mean to put it in. Mm -hmm. I heard of this story about um, a lady who was going to get married and the family are rich that they have money mm. and this auntie will come oh i'll take care of decor this person will come i'll take care of this person will come, i'll take care of this apparently when the wedding was done everything was done and the vendor started calling 50k 3k 7k apparently the aunties and the people who have vouched that they will pay for they will take care of it they, they not pay anything no more mm. so please like if you go and borrow money for wedding charlie and also see Sometimes the ladies and they feel for us, the guys. Yeah. So they'll be like, baby, okay, don't worry, you, I'll, I'll take on some of the things, blah, blah, blah. And they'll end up buying the, uh, the list, the woman, the list, whatever. No, it's, it's, not, it's not good. Like, yeah, it's like, not like good. on the engagement list. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Guys, don't, don't accept it. Yeah. It's not good at all. Like the men have to buy all of Buy those all of also. those things. Don't yeah. let the woman buy her list yeah. for you. Yeah. No matter how much she loves you, no. Struggle and get it. Like, come on, someone's daughter. All of these years, like, the person has taken care of the daughter and common list. You want the daughter. Like, to it's... Buy. I don't say the but it's like a curse. Yeah. So, ladies, don't try it. Leave your man to go and struggle and get the list. How much is the list? Mm. Some of the list, if you even check it, will not reach 1,200. Not at all. Not so, at this all. one too, yeah. Not at all. And don't buy wedding gown for yourself. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Right. <laughs> you there? We'll do another session. Eh? We'll, we'll have more to, to hear from me. Anyway, so you didn't know anything about marriage. Mm -hmm. You were afraid. You didn't learn it from anywhere. Now you are married for close to three years. What have you like foreseen the your your marriage life? How it's going to be? What have you foreseen it? Mm -hmm. And how how do you intend to go about with, with it? Okay. So, <laughs> for me, my married life, <laughs> I think it has been easy. How did it become easy? I made it possible. I realized my wife is someone who easily gets onto the battlefield. You don't have, not that you can't win, but you don't have to win her. No, let her win. Just knowing this, I'm able to survive. Sometimes 
I just let her know that, hey, hey, hey relax. I'm still the man. Yeah. But most of the times, I let her win. Yeah. I just leave her to win. That's the reason why like, it has been easy for yeah. us. Just like this morning. I was on. He said, "Just listen." I was on call. I was talking to someone. I was using earpiece, so like we were talking for long. And I bought watch. I came back, wanted to eat this watch. She started talking to me, knowing that I'm on call. Yeah. I just calmed down. Just want the attention. <laughs> listen to both sides, the yeah. call and her, and I'll be responding, nodding my head, everything. Okay. She didn't get me there. Now I came inside here, sat down, eating my watch. It's called me. I should come. We are packing certain, like, we are about to, okay, you are not give out, but we are packing some things there. She called me, I should come and help pack it. Like, then she's doing it alone. And I'm like, Madam, what is your problem? I'm eating, I'm on the call, and you keep calling me to do stuff. Like, why? You just want to fight or what? And she just went back into her shell. You understand? So sometimes you just have to let them know, hey, relax, like you're going far. But sometimes you just have to let them win. Yeah. Maybe I go to the washroom. Or let's say, let me not use washroom. I go to the kitchen. I drop a plate after eating. I don't wash the plate or bowl. I just drop it because maybe I have to do something quick. She can scream. This this one plate you can wash. I've washed it just one. Then 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 then. I go like, don't worry, I'll come and wash it. Sorry, I was in a hurry. Blah blah blah. blah. But I, I'm supposed to get angry because I don't understand why you should be screaming. Yeah. Why? Like it's there. It's not like something is going to spoil. Just watch me. Give me some time and see if I know what it. You understand? So like you have to know these things. And in some marriages, it is vice versa. The man is like that. Yeah. The lady will just have to. <laughs> Calm down, you up. I think I think I'm not like that. But I think I'm small <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, I like to be very organized. Mm -hmm. And because I like to be very organized, when I put this here, and you have touched it, organize it well. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I come and it's scattered, oh no, I'm I've, trouble. I've learned to be quiet, just like he's saying. It's not all the fights that <laughs> you have to win. And like when you now, you should be able to spot the fight. Like Bible will say, a wise man will see trouble and hide himself. Mm -hmm. Man, like you be able to see the the fight and then hide yourself. Oh. So sometimes I decide to be quiet and then I'll arrange the things myself. Mm. But when I would say it now, I say, Oh, baby, you, you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, yeah, but so, many day. <laughs> so, me, I, I, see, I see the future to be okay, like normal, like no issues, unless I allow the issue to come in. Because I know the problems, like, yeah. see, no one is perfect, but I know the problems, so I'm able to control everything and everybody's happy you know the reason i ask this part of the question is that i feel like a lot of people and from what i've seen a lot of people see marriage and in the journey of it to be some tedious hard work <laughs> it, it feel like yeah marriage itself is hard work it's a lot of work but i feel like they see like something that they have to you know you know how some people's mind can be about some magical things do it like this do it like this to do like this you know that kind of that's one of the reasons i ask this question but i feel like the journey should be free you don't plan it so giddy giddy as it as and when it comes then you get the all of that mm. to get yourself going you know you know my wife sometimes should be trying like she'll force herself trying to cook I don't cook like st strength. stop yeah. it like no I want to like don't cook but you see growing up okay me I didn't grow up with my parents so but in some of my friends growing up they see their fathers commanding ordering their moms I want to eat fufu I'm going out to come up at this time I want fufu ready all of this so they also learn it like that yeah and they carry it along and Charlie trouble everywhere <laughs> 21st century Please, right now we have Android and iPhones. Those days, Motorola big. Yeah. It is no more. What I'm trying to say is, time change. Be, times change. It is not time changes. Times change. So please update yourself and upgrade. You can update call yourself and upgrade. <laughs> you can you can call and order for fufu. The fufu you want to eat. Your wife is tired. Yeah. Take care of the baby and everything, and you want your wife to pound fufu because you are the man. No, please.
don't do that wow that's beautiful that's mm. so beautiful a lot of lessons a lot of messages you've put out mm. there any any just share some last words with you last words so what i want to say is if you are planning to get married because we are talking about like married life and stuff if you are planning to get married to the ladies out there see hmm, it is just nice to do a huge wedding you have people coming and they will be insulting you under the thing without even you knowing yeah. hey when you will go with your boy hey look at this hey, and the food cry is not nice so hey so they wasted money on all of these things like it. see i don't i don't think we have best wedding award do you even remember the previous best wedding no i don't even remember unless we start talking about it that's when i'll start to think okay so can see what the yeah. um yeah. the peace yeah. fm yeah. kennedy yeah, yeah before i remember something like that like Sekwami's yes son. Uh -huh, yeah. despite so please ladies out there instead of wasting all those monies on a huge wedding please who's the money to buy uber i know yeah like Did buy you more money for some you? uber be yeah. Let it work for one year yeah. and look at the money you are going to get. Yeah. Or if you think Uber is not your thing, you have your Uber already, whatever. Save that money. Yeah. Travel to Dubai. Go and treat yourself like a king or a queen. Stop wasting your money on this Ghana land wedding, PPP, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the advice I'll, I'll give to people. All right. So before I got married, see you on the next one. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.